Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Math with McMurdo. We're going to find the quotient of 412 and 16. So my dividend is 412, my divisor is 16. I want to find the quotient up there. I don't remember. Now, since it's division, 14. and we want to make sure that we make division easy as possible, yeah. we're going to list our multiples of our divisor, which in this case is 16. So if we do 16 times 1 is 16, and I'm doing this off the top of my head, 16 times 2 is 32, just off the top of my head, 16 times 3 is 48, 16 times 4 is 64, let's see, let's see. 16 times 5 is 80, 16 times 6 is 96, 16 times 7 is 112, 16 times 8 is 128, all right off the top of my head. I mean, it's amazing. I would never pretend like I had this all written down on paper. I'm doing this right off the top of my head. 16 times 9 is 144. You're getting all your steps in today, Sia, just during my class. It's amazing. Your Fitbit's going to go crazy. Wow. All right, so now let's get some sort of estimate here. Is my quotient going to be more than or less than 10? Uh, uh, Aiden, more than or less than 10? Less. Why? What is 16 times 10? 160. 160. Is that close to, to this? No, no. So what would be, if 16 times 10 is 160, what would 16 times 20 be? 320. So now I know it's going to be more than, than 20. Then more than 10. Okay, so it is more than 10. It's going to be more than 20, I believe. So, all right. Now, is 16 going to go into 4? No. no, I am not going to have a number in the hundreds place. Not going to happen. Not going to do it. Not going to put a number in the hundreds place. Not going to do it. Now I need to see how many times 16 goes into 41. I come over here to where I did the hardest part of division, which was doing my multiples, which still many of you don't do. And then you come up and say, I don't understand how many times it goes in there. And I say, have you listed your multiples? And you go... Yes. And then I say, well, show me. And then you go, well, let me go get them. And then you don't come back because you haven't done them. <laughs> so I need to get as close to 41 as I can get without going over 16, 32, 48. Oh, 48 is too big. So as close as I can get is 32. So 16 times 2, which Aiden told me it was going to be greater than 20. So I already know that. I have 41 subtract 32, and I'm going to get 9, and I'm going to bring down the 2. Good job. Thunder. All right, now I got to figure out how many times 16 goes into 92. I want to get as close as I can get. Uh, 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96. 96 is too big. So it must be 5. And 5 times 16, because I've already done the hardest part of division, wow. which is the multiplication, okay. is 80. Subtract, and I get 12. And I could add a decimal point here if I wanted and put a zero, but I don't know how long that's going to go. So if it doesn't specify, if it just says do this problem, 
then you can probably use the remainder. Because if I put a zero here, let's see how far we could go. We might be able to go as far as forever. So times seven and seven times 16 is 112. I'm gonna get eight. Ooh. I'm gonna bring another zero down and get 80. So 16 goes into 80 how many times? Five. Five times. So 25 and 75 hundredths. If you put, since it didn't say anything, if you put 25 remainder uh, 12, I would I would mark it wrong. Okay. okay. I wouldn't. But we could work it out. It is more than 20. Like my good, dear friend, Aiden, told me. So our estimate was good. I know, Hunter, you told me too. I said it's... Boom, shakalaka, peace out. God bless, love you. Do something kind today. Save the bees, like, share, and subscribe.